Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on expanding expressions of the form a plus b over x all squared. So we want to expand and simplify 5 minus 2 over x all squared. Now whenever we square a bracket we just write it out twice so it's 5 minus 2 over x multiplied by 5 minus 2 over x and that's before we just do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So we do the first thing in this first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So we do 5 times 5, which is 25. And we've got 5 times negative 2x. Well, positive times negative is going to be negative. Now, do you remember, when we do a non-fraction, so a whole thing, multiplied by a fraction, the 5 is only going to affect the top of the fraction. So the 5 gets multiplied by that 2 to give you 10. But the denominator remains the same. Just to give you another example, if I had um, 2 multiplied by 3 fifths, the 2 only affects the 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, but the 5 remains as it is. So we've done that, and now we do the second thing in each bracket multiplied by each thing in the second bracket. So we've got negative 2 over x times 5, where negative times positive is negative. And look, we've got the 5 times the 2, so that just becomes 10 over x. It's just the same thing. And then finally, we've got negative 2 over x times negative 2 over x. Negative times negative is positive. And now this time, well, if we've got 2 over x times 2 over x, we've got a fraction multiplied by a fraction. We just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. So 2 times 2 is 4 and x times x is x squared, so we've now got this. Now we can do some collecting of like terms because look, these two fractions are both over x. So if we have minus 10 over x, minus an another 10 of over x, then we have minus 20 over x. And we've still got that plus 4 over x squared term. And there's not really much else we can do at this stage because these have different denominators so we can't directly add or subtract them. So that is the final answer.